are recording. We're live! <laughs> yeah, right. We never do lives for this very reason. Hello, hello, we everyone. We've never gone live, that's true. Yeah, for good reason. <laughs> Unpredictability. Yeah. So, hello, everyone. How's we are going? We are back. <laughs> We're like squished together. Yes. Um, we thought for today's video, we would do something easy, Q&A, because yeah. there's been a lot happening behind the scenes. Carnival, so nobody yes. showed up to work for a few days. Then the construction Armageddon site. like storms. Flooded. Hail. Hail. Hail Mageddon. Hail I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Golf balls bouncing off of the ground style yes. of... Uh, of storms. A storm, yes. Does anyone live in an environment like that? If so, let us know. I mean, that's fascinating. We've experienced some firsts out here. Yeah, that's for sure. We sure have. And that means that there's been very little progress in terms of the construction. Right. This week, that will be changing next week. So we'll be yeah. back with an actual update. But yeah, we thought we would answer some of the most frequently asked questions. We put a poll out on Instagram and also yeah. on our Patreon for all the people who signed up this past week. Thank you. And oh you guys... my gosh, thank you guys. Just from honestly the bottom of our hearts. It yes. just, it, it, we couldn't believe the support. It was yes. awesome. So we're going to be answering some of the questions you guys submitted on there as well. So yeah. are, you, are you ready for this? Yeah, you got quite a few, didn't you? I do. I've got like 10 to 15. I thought we would keep it a manageable right, right. amount but of questions. What was the actual total you told me? It was like it some was, insane number. It was 329 questions. Oh my gosh. We cannot do yeah. that in one video. That would be like, what, a five hour video? Yes. We'd put you to sleep. We would. We'd go to sleep too. So, yeah. question number one. Okay. What are the differences between construction in Canada versus Argentina? What have you noticed? Ooh, that's a good one. I'll let you take that one away. You have a lot more experience <laughs> with that. Well, I, I do because my dad worked in construction in Canada, so I'm familiar with construction sites. I used to help him as well um, as a student. So basically, I would say safety is the main difference. People here in Argentina, you don't see them wearing their, their helmets, mm -hmm. no hard hats. Uh, no yeah. steel-toed boots. Yeah, they also don't. Um, they don't seal off the, the the zone. You know, in Canada, they'd probably have like some tape, being like, "You can't walk here. You can't walk. You here. You can't walk here unless you're a <laughs> crew and you have you a know, helmet." I I, I kind of like it here because it's like we can snoop around and check out what they're doing. They're like, "They're digging a ditch. Let's go take a look." Yeah. You know, they're 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 working on something inside. Let's yes. let's go take a peek. But you know what? You you have to be careful walking around because I've been around the construction sites and there's like pieces of wood flying off of the roof and it's just like, hey, I'm down here. Um, so yeah. Announce your presence. I'm here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say yeah. safety has been the main difference I've noticed. So that's that's the answer to that question. Right. Next Great question, one. by the way. I I like that one. Oh, and I'm I'm also gonna. Uh, interject here and say that I, I have not read any of these questions. No. You know what they are. Yeah. I don't. You so do this not. is this is fun. So the next question is, did you think you'd be doing this much work to the house? Uh kind of. Yeah. You did? Yeah, I mean like I mean to the fact that it wasn't aired out or no one had been in there for like twenty years. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like, honestly, when you first showed it to me, I was expecting worse. That's true. You yeah. were expecting worse, and I was surprised. I, I was thinking, like, the, the walls are going to be all kinds of moldy. Like, there's going to be structure, like massive structural damage. And honestly, the, the best news was that the walls were as stable as fortified as you could hope for. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they were, it was obviously, the, the, the building was made well. But mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, everything inside needed to be redone. Like mm -hmm. there just wasn't anything to salvage. Yes. What would you say? My answer would be no, I did not think we would be doing this much work. I thought we'd be able to salvage the bathroom, that we do a new roof, redo the kitchen, and we would see about the floors. So yeah. I thought it would be less. I mean, one thing that we've realized living in the countryside is, you know, it's one thing to to enjoy roughing it for like a long weekend. Yes. But if you're gonna be living somewhere, yeah. there's no shame in having a shower that has decent <laughs> water pressure, you know, that has consistent hot water. Yeah. You know, there's been some issues here where, uh, you know, we haven't had that, we have that trickle. And then, mm -hmm. you know, I'm having 
what do you call that? Those forced hot and cold showers. Mm -hmm. And how people alter, there's some people strategically alternate between hot and cold. Well, that just happens naturally here. So, I mean, I don't mind that we're making it a little more comfortable so that you still get the rustic appeal yes. of being here. And there still will be rustic things. We'll still be pumping our water from a well. Yeah. There'll be other issues, but not everything in the house has to be rustic. Yes. Right? So we are, we are aiming for comfort and we're also trying to do things right. It's like if we're going to renovate the house, let's do it right from the ground up and yeah. let's make it how we want it. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, if we, if we renovate it in a decent capacity now, it mm -hmm. will have a more enduring effect mm -hmm. into the future. I mean, if let's say we decided to go with those ancient toilets or whatever, right? Maybe we could have squeaked out a few years, uh, you know, and then, then, then we would have had to upgrade anyways. So yeah. We're sort of like a preventative strike. Yes. Let's good call point. it like that. I'm just checking we're in focus. We're in focus. Okay, good. Sure Alrighty. Right. Next, next, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> next question, which kind of ties in. Somebody was like, wouldn't it have been easier to just demolish the whole house and build a mm. new one? Ouch! Oh. That that hurts in the heart. You know what? We actually we have a we know how much a house costs to make here, like mm -hmm. a, a log cabin. Yes. And it is going to cost us close to that mm -hmm. to fix the place. So it, it hasn't been cheap at all. Mm -hmm. so we'll be completely honest. But we are left with quite an interesting building. They just don't make things. They don't make buildings like that anymore. Yes. And I think it's nice that we're trying to maintain a little piece of history. Like this was the first house to be built on the property by yeah. my grandfather. It's over 80 years old. So it's like, we want to maintain that part of the story. Like we're not trying to erase that and start anew. Um, yeah. The idea is to retain the heritage. Yeah. And we actually, we're, we're both really into that. Mm -hmm. Like when we travel and we go to different parts of the world, like say outside of Canada or even Argentina, we're fascinated by the, the historical architecture. Yes. And sometimes it's painful to see buildings being demolished for like modern mm -hmm. skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. that happened to the very first place I went to in <laughs> Korea where I lived. I went to show you where I used to teach. Bye bye. And it was completely gone. Like yeah. they, they even. I mean, it's just it was high rises, not mm -hmm. the not the old traditional houses. Yeah. So, I mean, but that that is part of progress. But we're we're. It's, I think it's fascinating that we're trying to maintain the the historic element. It's admirable. It's admirable. There you go. There we go. There you go. Next question. Let's see. Oh, wouldn't it be easier if you got a car to get around? It would be. Yes, guys. <laughs> it sure would but be. We were we were thinking about getting one when mm -hmm. we first got here, and we decided to prioritize pushing ahead a little bit faster with the renovations. Yes. So we prioritized the renovation versus buying the car. Yeah. Now we've been able to get away with that because the things that we order can be brought in by our construction crew mm -hmm. or delivered directly from the place. So. I mean, sure, it would be uh, it would be nicer for getting groceries and so on. But we've also met some great friends in the community that do give us rides. Yeah. So basically, it would have been two very major expenses to have at once. Yeah. So we opted to forgo getting a car for the time being, and we're using public transportation. We go into town with friends. We yeah. hitchhike, and we also have materials delivered straight to the property when we need them. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably get a vehicle the next time yes. we're here. Not this time around. Not this time around. No, no car this time around. <laughs> have you been stressed? I mean, sure. We've had our moments and our days. Um, the thing too to remember is that we're sending money over from with Canadian dollars, and then prices are kind of on par with U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. So that's made things a little more jarring at times. Our Canadian currency is a little bit like monopoly money at the moment versus the US dollar. Yes. And so it just doesn't stretch out as far. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we kind of anticipated a rough amount that we would need to spend. And it's, it's been within that ballpark, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more. We got a little fancier with the roof. Mm -hmm. You know, you wanted the wooden roof and... Yeah, I'm glad you went with it. <laughs> I'm glad you went with it. It looks nice. 
Well, I mean, there, we could have gone simpler. Yeah. Simpler, sure. Sure, we could have gone simpler, sure, but but if we're gonna live in it, we wanted. To yeah, look we we, we want. wanted to look good, and I guess we were also influenced by some friends. We went to their house, and we you, well, you saw how nice yeah, it was. Yeah, and we were so. like, yes, this is a nice room. So Audrey was like, yes, and this is, admittedly, this is this is Audrey's project, and I want I want the place to look good, like well, in the way you like it. Yeah. I'm the kind of, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't care too much. Like I could probably be living in a cave, and I if I had okay. if I had internet in a in a decent you know place to sleep, I'd be all right. Yeah, no, you would be. That's, <laughs> well, that's just me. I, I I'm know weird. Sam. I know. I'm weird boy. that way. So. Um. Okay. Are you planning on running the hotel yourself? Lots of questions about that. Uh. No. Right. Mm -hmm. The honest right. answer is no. Yeah. I've never wanted to do that kind of work. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not, I'm not, not a customer service type of guy. <laughs> I'll be honest. I love the little niche that I've built out where I can mm -hmm. work at home online, pursuing my own projects. The neat thing about this project is it's going to develop jobs for, for other people. Yeah, so I'll, I'll answer that question as well. And basically, like the idea is to be still very involved with this and still spending time here in Argentina and being on the property and seeing how things are running, mm -hmm. but not necessarily being the person who's there 24-7, 365 days a year, checking people in and, yeah. you know, overseeing every little detail. We want to hire locally and yeah. create jobs like one of the major passions or like the big drives behind this project is to create jobs in the tourism sector locally. Right. Like I do feel quite passionately about that. So mm -hmm. yeah, we want to fill those positions with people. Yeah. And to be honest, that would be someone's dream job to mm -hmm. come and live out in the woods in nature like mm -hmm. this and, and run a hotel like in terms of the management. That is someone's dream job. Yeah. I don't want to take that away from them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's not mine. Samuel, come <laughs> so, with the plunger to room no, nine. I, I just wouldn't be like, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a hair on, it, on the pillow in guest room number 11. But when you guys come and stay here, you probably will see us around and we will get to meet you, even yeah. if we're not the the check-in person or no, whatever. No. What advice would you give to someone wanting to undertake a similar renovation project? Oh, that's a great, mm. great question. Um, be prepared. Be prepared for what? Well, just like uh, <laughs> everything, everything, <laughs> costs, delays, um, things not going exactly according to plan, mm -hmm. um, things taking longer than you expected. Come into it with a maximum amount of patience and low expectations. Yeah, because then you is can't that, be disappointed. Good, yeah. I would say have low expectations. Have yes. low expectations and be yeah. pleasantly surprised. Supplies. Be pleasantly surprised by everything that, yes. that goes well. Yeah, no, I because, agree. Uh, yeah, it's going to test your everything. It's going to test your patience. It's going to test your... But the thing too is that we've given ourselves a long timeline with this. This isn't mm -hmm. a short-term project. This is going to take years, not mm -hmm. months, not weeks, not days. And we know that. And because of that, when things aren't going according to plan, mm -hmm. it's, it's all right. Expect the unexpected. Mm -hmm. Come in with a calm, patient attitude if you can. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not like that every day. There's times mm -hmm. where we feel frustrated, admittedly. I mean, we're, we're not throwing ourselves on camera on those days. Maybe we should. It might make some for some entertaining videos, but um, yeah, you, you you need to you need to see the long term picture. Mm -hmm. You need to think when this is done, it will be something very interesting mm -hmm. and something we can feel proud about. Yes, you know, I don't. I, we're not going to be taking on anything like this. You know, again, this is the big life project. Yeah, I, I've I've told you this is it, <laughs> and like when it comes to. Uh, other potential places we, we might live in in the wait, future. Wait, wait, that means you, you don't want to like renovate one of those abandoned mansions in Recoleta in Buenos Aires? Oh my gosh, no, okay. no thanks. I'll let you, if you'd like to tackle that you, as a solo project, I'm not going to hold you back, provided you have the funds. But... We're neglecting the mate, by the way. Oh yeah, we got some mate. But you were saying if you were going to live or tackle like another, oh, hair there's... oh my gosh, oh my, my gosh. hair. Three hairs in there. No, I mean, I'd like for other things to be simple, uh -huh. maybe move-in ready yeah. kind of places. I get it. 
Yeah. I get it. But this is this this will be interesting. We can look back on it fondly. Like, hopefully. Look, look at look at what <laughs> hopefully we Hopefully fondly and we'll be like, look at what look at what we did. Yes. Look at us couple crazy, you know, people with no experience in this this type Getting of endeavor. Themselves into crazy trying things. trying it out, winging yeah. it. Um, yeah. The next question kind of ties in and they're asking, when do you expect the whole renovation to be completed and to be able to welcome guests? Well, why don't you tackle that? I will tackle that. Initially, I thought two years, we can have this done in two years. Yeah. But I mean, uh, we're, we've been here for about four months. We think it's going to end up taking us six months to just yeah. renovate one house. Uh, admittedly, this is the bigger project, the one that needed the most amount of work out of all yeah. the constructions. That's actually true. The yeah. other places won't need nearly as much. Yeah. I mean, so, they have their own unique challenges, but mm -hmm. not everything needs to be redone. So I'm going to say instead of two years thinking of the unexpected, maybe it'll take us three. So give a date. Uh, a, a, a date or early so than latest. So early 2023, so yeah. 2024. 2025 ah. at the okay. earliest yeah that's what i had in mind so i'll just interject and then you can think about the dates my <laughs> my earliest would be sometime early to mid 2025 uh -huh. and i think the latest would be the end of 2026 like just before 2027 i agree something and that would be the the parameters yes yeah Same if, page. if if we get it done before that great awesome great if it's not Let's hope it doesn't go to like 2027. No, that would, no, no, no. That'd be scary. Um, next question. I'm not sure if I read this one already. Is March still the move-in date for the chalet, the, the house we're renovating? Not anymore. No. No. no, it is not. We're filming this a few days before March and there's a lot there, left to do. There is no way we are moving in at any point during the month of March. Just no. impossible. There's no subfloors right now. Yeah. There's no kitchen. There's no bathroom. There's... Maybe, maybe April at this point. Yeah, I was thinking maybe and April. We've maybe actually, May. we've delayed a trip to Patagonia mm -hmm. because of that. We're going to stay an extra month here. It'll actually be good for us anyways, because um, I think the more of the autumn colors will be in, in April. Yes. And so, yeah, we're delaying by a month. Um, things things have just taken longer here. Yeah, there's been more things to do. Yeah, than expected. And things just are slow going. And things pop up. Uh, next, da -da 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 -da. oh, what is the style you're going for in the chalet? Do you do you have a style? Do you even know Samuel? No, you tell us about the style. <laughs> I, I haven't told so, you, or, or have up. you? I'm I'm going. How about rustic, functional rustic? Rustic, okay, yeah. Rustic, I had functional. three words that I don't remember now. Rustic. Yeah, rustic. Warm. Warm. Cozy. Cozy. I like it. Yeah. Functional too. Obviously functional. Well, okay. Let's say like not. What was it? Oh yeah. What what's the opposite of roughing it? Comfortable. Comfort. Comfort. Yeah. Not luxury, which no. is not, you know, yeah. I don't want to necessarily have to be like lighting a match to start oh. the stove or like turning on a preheating system to... There's no water in this. Yeah, you didn't put a lot in. I'll add some. <laughs> Please. Yeah, it's going to be rustic, a lot of, a lot of wood. So the floors that I've chosen, it kind of looks like planks off of a, a boat, like an old wooden ship. Like a pirate. A pirate ship, a pirate yes. Wooden, plank. wooden planks is the flooring inspiration. And the walls, I just wanted to have, you know, like texture and for it to yeah. look kind of aged. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if it had sort of a, a cabin like feel inside of it. I don't think I like this brand. No, I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also warm in the sense that it'll be on the warm color palette. Not okay. cool because I like it feeling cozy and just mm, snuggly. Okay. Maroon <laughs> color. No, 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 no but kidding. still light, like neutral, warm. Okay. You'll see soon in the upcoming videos because we're, we're starting to design the kitchen. Yeah. I had a friend and not a friend. Yeah. The son of a friend yeah. came over. We've been designing the kitchen today. Uh, when is Daniel coming to Argentina? Oh, we're still figuring that out. Your, yes. your dad's in the process of getting his passport, so renewed. Yeah, that's not the 
easiest thing these days. It yeah. used to be like a, a two week process, but you know, uh, the pandemic changed that. Yes, so. everybody rushing to renew their passports after being locked up for a few years kind of yeah. kind of slowed things down. Maybe sometime in May. Yes. June, May, June. So we'll just play it by ear and see if it works out for everybody. Yeah. But no announcements there. No, no announcements there, guys. Yeah. But we will let you know. Next question is, how are you funding this? And there were a few people who were like, it must be your trust fund. <laughs> <laughs> if only you knew. Um, not at all. We The thing about us is we've always 100% funded our own travels and our own everything. And so, so far the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we run online businesses mm -hmm. to be brutally honest. I mean, like YouTube is a business. Mm -hmm. We have websites, we have display ads on there. There's affiliate ads, people click and go on tours. I mean, mm -hmm. we've, we've built up a, a business over the years mm -hmm. and we've set aside a percentage of our earnings yes. to be spent here. Yes. A, a decent chunk, I might add, but um, that's what we're doing. We, yeah. We're self-funding. We haven't asked for any money from family uh, either side, and we don't intend to. Mm -hmm. So it's us. It's us. Hello. And, I mean, the generous support that you've shown on, on Patreon and mm -hmm. the bias of brick has mm -hmm. blown us away. Yes. And we so appreciate it. But aside from that, it's, it's just what we're doing. The thing too is like, we can control the purse strings, right? Mm -hmm. So if we need to, to save up for a while, we will. Yeah. Um, this has been a more aggressive push than probably will, will be in other years, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But it's also allowed us to get a lot done. Lots yeah. of landscaping and so on too. Also, I will say like we we live quite simply. Like we yeah. are not big spenders. We can get by on very little. I would say we're quite minimalist in our everyday, day-to-day yeah. -day life. And also like leading up to coming down here, we, we moved into my parents' basement suite apartment during the pandemic in order yeah. to save as well for this project. And yeah. I remember so many people used to hate on us on the comments, go get your own place. Why are you living yeah. with your parents? Da, da, da. To fund this, guys, to yeah. make this that's, happen. That's, so. par that's part of the reason. The other yeah. reason, too, is just like we wanted to spend time with family. Mm -hmm. And we had an open invitation from both sides of our family yeah. to stay. We have a room in, in my parents' place and <coughs> the entire basement suite at mm -hmm. the time in Brampton wasn't being occupied. So... It just made sense. Yeah. I mean, we we could have rented an apartment. Mm -hmm. I mean, truth is, we weren't living in Canada those previous years. We were nomadic, so we didn't have a, our own place in Canada. Yeah. And so this was like a situation that wasn't planned. It wasn't uh, anticipated by anybody, of course, not just for us, but for everyone around the world. And it just so happened that there were places uh, available. And of course, I mean, we chipped in. We we paid for our, our share of our groceries. We're we, not freeloaders. We're not freeloaders. That was another we, thing that we, I was you know, like, we oh. we all we all chipped in and pay for expenses and so yeah, on, yeah. household expenses. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's just the the situation at the time, and uh, and the flexibility with that has allowed us to pursue this because, mm -hmm. to be honest, what we're spending down here is way more than what. A normal person would be spending on rent mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it, it balances itself out mm -hmm. i would say all right let's end things off on a positive note what's been the highlights of your time here so far and it doesn't um, have to be related to the renovation i, I like I, I i love the foxes on the property tell us about the foxes they uh, <laughs> we've been feeding a, a family of foxes here uh we've given them all names there's grandpapa <laughs> There's name little petite miss. Yeah. That's your name. Yeah. name. There's a uh, mama. She kind of chews funny. She kind of like rotates her uh, head while she chews. There's papa who has a, who's the biggest fox, but also has a split in one of his ears. Yes. And now there's two baby foxes, actually three. And they were very scared up until about three or four weeks ago. They've been mm -hmm. kind of slowly being introduced to us. And now one of them is able to come and eat nearby yes. and it doesn't take off in between nibbles so i've really enjoyed the foxes on the property i've also really liked where we've been staying 
it's kind of nice to have some separation between the work project. Mm. This is our slice of tranquility here. Yes. And then we go. That's another thing. We are renting a place here on yes. top of our expenses. And yeah, so it's been nice to have this beautiful place to stay. And that's been my favorite part. Also, just mm -hmm. our little walks around the village to go um, eat blackberries. Yeah, just that kind of thing. Meeting, meeting up with locals. I've been talking too much. How about you? No, no, that's great. <laughs> that's great. I, I would agree. So I would say it's also been really nice having a place that's separate from the construction site because if we were living there surrounded by like the mess and the materials yeah. and the bricks and the mud, I don't know, it would be kind of, I feel like it would be harder. Yeah, that would wear on you. Yeah. 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 You'd yeah. be, you'd be just like, it would be in your face all the time. Yes. And so this is like, we can have separation. Yeah. So we, we can, can be go. there yeah. during the day. We can do the work. We can film. Da 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 da. And then at the end of the day, this is like zen. This is the zen peace. zone. And foxes and flowers. Yes, exactly. So yeah. that's made it palatable. Mm -hmm. That's made it possible for us to, to, yeah. to, to endure yes. the challenges. But yeah, it's been interesting. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I like it here for sure. I also miss Canada too. Yeah. So by the time by the time we're we're finished our stint here, I'll be thrilled to be back in Canada for the rest of the year, splitting mm -hmm. our time mm -hmm. between both places. And um, but that's also nice too because it's kind of like when we arrive in Canada or Argentina, it's kind of like the the hourglass has been flipped mm -hmm. flipped up, and we we know that we've got a finite amount of time before we'll be going back and forth. So mm -hmm. it's nice variety. Yes. Yeah. Overall. A, a positive experience so far yeah. yeah i'd say and why don't we end with a little travel update since we aren't doing patagonia in march because no. the house is not finished <laughs> and we are not moving in yeah. we've decided to do little mini weekend adventures around yes. the province of cordoba so there's two reasons we've delayed first yes. it was the high tourist season everything was booked up yes secondly it was impossibly hot for a yes. while so both those things are, are have changed yeah it's a bit of the storm season, but as we head into March, it'll be a little drier, way less people. People will be back at uh, school, at work, mm -hmm. just the way the, the holidays work here in Argentina. Yes. And we're, we're keen to explore, to do some hiking, to visit some quirky towns. Yes, let me tell you, let me tell you. So there's going to be vineyards. Okay. There's going to be Jesuit ruins some little mountain expeditions yeah. sleeping in huts with oh. like the local shepherds up in the mountains the farmers or ranchers wherever you want to call them and yeah super awesome I, I i can't wait we haven't done much travel since we've been here so i'm i yes. mean that's that's what i like to do the most mm -hmm. in my life so i'm super happy we'll be doing more of that so yeah leaving you with that yes. renovations and travel more travel videos on the channel coming soon. Yeah, and maybe we'll do more Q and A's because there were over 300 questions, but maybe yes. maybe some other time. I feel like we've rambled we'll long enough. We'll spread them out. Yeah, this is over 30 minutes. Yeah, so. something along those lines. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.